Alright guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a custom gaming PC with a budget of £200. I'm going to be getting my prices from aria.co.uk, just because they have pretty good price ranges and they have a good customer support, so it seems like a solid site to buy your parts from. You can also shop on Amazon if you don't trust websites like this. You will have to pay slightly more though, but they do offer some pretty decent prices on their parts. Now just a sort of disclaimer for the start of this video, um, with this kind of build, you're not going to be smashing out games like GTA 5 or Battlefield 4 on high settings, but it does make a decent 720p gaming machine, so games like Minecraft, Terraria, more basic games, indie games, they're going to run them fine at lower definitions. But the good thing about this kind of build is that you're not going to be getting anywhere near this price for performance in a shop if you bought it pre-built, so it is much, much better custom building. Firstly, we're going to be choosing a case for the build, and I've chosen the Arianet Viper Mini Tower case. Now, the reason I chose this case is because it comes with a 500 watt power supply built in, and it has support for USB 3.0. It's a pretty small case, and it's got a lot of room inside it, considering the price. Now, this case does contain a 3.5 inch drive bay for a hard drive, a 2.5 inch drive bay if you want an SSD, and a 5.25 inch drive bay for an optical drive. Another nice aspect of this case is it has a front intake and rear exhaust fan, which is quite rare for this price range. Now for the processor and graphics card, we're going to be choosing the AMD A8 6600K. Now this is an APU, so it classes as a GPU and CPU built in, so we won't be needing to buy a separate graphics card with this build. I feel as though an AMD CPU is much better for these cheap builds, because Intel does not quite have the price to performance ratio at these lower price ranges. Now for the CPU aspect, it comes with a 3.9GHz quad-core FM2 socket processor. The graphics part of the APU is the AMD Radeon HD 8570D. Now this is a sort of powerhouse graphics, it can run games like Devil May Cry in around 30fps on Ultra. Obviously this is with 1080p gaming as well, so it's going to do really well at 720p. Much better than if we included some crappy £20 graphics card in this build instead, anyway. Now, since our case supports only micro ATX boards and our chipset type it needs to be FM2, I've chosen the Gigabyte F2A78M for our motherboard. Other than for compatibility reasons, I also chose this board because of its price, as well as it also contains USB 3.0 headers, which fits well with our case. It can actually fit a maximum RAM capacity of 64GB, so we're not going to be running 64 gigs in this build, but it is upgradable quite heavily. And it also has a PCI Express slot if you wish to upgrade to a better graphics in the future. Now in terms of storage for this build, I'm going with the 250GB Seagate Pipeline hard drive. Now this is the most customised part of the build really, because if you require more storage you may want to upgrade here, but I'm assuming 250 gigs will be enough for mild 720p gamers. Now in terms of RAM, I'm going with one 4GB Hynix stick. It's a DDR3 piece of RAM and it's 1600MHz. The reason I'm not going with two RAM sticks is because it's to keep the budget down. You can upgrade to two 4GB RAM sticks in the future because the motherboard does have two RAM slots. The last part of this build is completely optional. It's the optical drive. You may use one of these to boot your OS from, but you can use a USB thumb drive instead and save yourself the money. But if you do choose to buy yourself an optical drive, I'd recommend the 24x Lighton internal DVD read and write combo drive. And that, in essence, is the build completed. This costs £200.95 at the time of the video. Alright, I said in under £200. Maybe I'm rounding down. I feel the best thing about this kind of build is that lots of parts are still readily upgradable in the future. So you, there's still a 2.5 inch drive bay to make use of if you want an SSD. You can upgrade your hard drive, there's still a RAM slot that needs to be filled, so you could put in an extra 4 gig stick, you could even put in two 8 gig sticks to have 16 gigs of RAM if you wanted to. And we still have that one PCI Express slot to fill, with a graphics card in the future. Because the power supply that comes built in is 500 watts, you should have no problem in providing the actual wattage required for an upgraded version of this PC, which is pretty nice in the long run. But anyways guys, I hope you liked this build. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, or if you didn't, leave a dislike. You can leave a comment below with any feedback, any parts you think I should have changed, upgraded on, or downgraded on. And of course, if you want to see more gaming build logs, or just general gaming content, don't forget to subscribe.